So look at that front. My computer's act or my camera's actually making it brighter than it is. But we got a big front about to hit us. And it's gonna be pretty intense. And it's like 5.45 right now. It should be way brighter than this. I hope it lights. Most of it, yeah, it is pretty dark. But if you look, right, you see that roller right there, the edge of the dark part? By the time that gets above us, the wind is gonna be intense, everything's gonna move sideways, and then it'll stop. And it's gonna downpour a bit, and that's about it. I, I bet you, I bet money on it. And if not, if it's worse, that's good for me, but not for everybody else. I'm hoping for it, but I doubt it. Usually if you got like a tornado or anything like that coming, you'll get Mimatis right up above us. Right about now you would have them, and they look like bubbles straight up, but we're not getting that, so. Yeah, roll the window up for sure. <laughs> There's a puddle in my back seat. I left my window down. There's a puddle in my back seat. Are you serious? Seat. Yeah. How long was it down for? Like the whole time it was pouring rain, you know. Were you in here or something? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yep. Yeah. Her mom was like, stay at the market until it stops raining. So it, literally the entire time it was Oh raining. my god. That sucks. Sorry. Yeah. I had a friend. They were doing the, uh, they went through one of those car washes and their, their sunroof caved in. So it all poured in, ruined, and it was one of those new cars. So they had their smartphones and all that, it just ruined everything. Oh, everything. God. And that's not covered by insurance. So. Roll my that. window up. You have to use the ones <laughs> on the driver's side. That's awful. It is. I feel bad for them. We got rotation now. This side's coming this way, that side's going that way, so. Oh my god. It's, it's not gonna be. I'm supposed to go pick some people up, and then I don't think I should. Yeah. Where are you going? Where do they live? Oh, that's okay. But down that road, you'll get a lot of stuff dropping from the trees, so. I just saw it happen the other day, though, actually. A tulip poplar came down. I mean, the trees, some of the wind could wrap my arms around it. There was barely any wind that landed on the car in front of me. Oh like, just out of nowhere. I pull up to him, and the guy, they're about your age, and uh, the guy cuts out of the car, and he goes, what the hell just happened? When does this happen? Are you like a weather person? I'm like a naturalist. Okay. <laughs> and as, I do survival training. I teach survival stuff okay. and disaster response. So see, here's here's the wind now. It's going to slam us in a second, dude. Okay, I'm in, I'm going to okay. see you guys. Like I said, short-lived. Oh, it's gonna kick out, but uh, I feel bad for some people. This is what I live for. But, uh, look at my, I look horrible. But I'm worried about my yard. We're probably going to lose trees. We don't have any money to fix them. You know, to pay for the damages. Uh, the roof's probably leaking everywhere because we have problems with that. Because thanks to the Toll Brothers. Look at this. Just like I said, it's going to be short lived. Come right through. And it'll be good to go. I wonder what the rotation is back here. Nothing. Talk about gust of wind. <laughs> oh, I love this weather. Oh no, just like I said. 
Shoot. A little over a week ago, I don't know when it was, maybe more than a week, the downpour was so hard it threw mud all up all over me and on the vehicle. And this whole half the parking lot was underwater and it took like two or three minutes maybe. Now I tried to film it, but it was really dark out. My camera was dead, so I had my broken Sony. I couldn't really film it well. And uh, then it drained away in like 15 minutes maybe. And looks like now. And you saw how hard it was coming down now, so that means there was more water coming from the sky at that time than it, than it was just now. I dread seeing my yard. So the precipitation's nothing compared to what it was. I'm kind of confused by that. Because it seemed worse today. But whatever. I guess it's because we had so much rain recently that the ground has opened up and it's allowed to drink the water, whereas the last time it was dry and the ground couldn't swallow enough water fast enough to keep the floods from occurring. So keep that in mind. Uh, if it hasn't rained much lately, the ground can only swallow so much water at once, especially when it's dry. So what happens is you prefer a bit of rain come ahead of time because that allows the ground to act more as a sponge and it soaks it up. Otherwise all the water just runs, collects on top of the earth instead of soaking into it. Keep that in mind, okay? In case you're camping or something. Um, I've tried to teach that to people. Maybe now I have a demonstration of it. I hope. Okay, I'm pulling up to my neighborhood now. I am so scared. A lot of water. I'm scared to see this. I'm scared to see this. Fingers crossed, no trees down. So far, the neighborhood looks good. It didn't even blow their trash cans? Jeez, up the street it was blowing everything. Look at that, the trash cans are all still where they are. There's a down, no. Oh please, here's my house. Coming up on my house. So. I think we made it. I think we survived it.